okay guys welcome to developers knowledge app and uh, today our session is about uh, ACH stripe ACH payment uh, using third-party uh, verification process bank verification process or without using third-party bank verification process okay account verification process so let me give you a quick demo regarding uh, the uh, without third party process i'm using plaid for third party uh, okay uh, to verify bank account okay so i'm giving you demo using ach how we do ach uh, payment so let's get started and uh, yeah let's do it like this okay and this is this and you can see that you we need account holder type there are two types of account holders for ach that is company and individual we can use company this is dummy routing uh, number and this is dummy account number you can find it on uh, stripe ach this is their home page we'll show you, show you later yeah, on submit you can see you can use loader uh, while uh, click on submit and you can see we have deposited two micro accounts into your bank account so this is actually without plaid okay how this works stripe sends two micro amounts within the mm, bank account okay so it takes almost uh, up to four business days sometimes okay but the account transfer is instant okay you can see the amount in your uh, phone or you know through your phone and you can enter those amount here so by default the amount is like uh, 32 and 45 for ac as you can see 32 and 45 okay so this is what we type over here for dumb uh, for sandbox okay on click on that submit payment will be processed okay also there is one more thing that it does not process payment okay uh, you can see your bank account has been verified and payment has been uh, made successfully okay so payment has been made but payment will be pending okay so it will throw you a message or give you status with pending status okay and as long as uh, the status will be uh, uh, changed from pending to successful okay stripe will notify you that your uh, amount has been su successfully received okay so for that for that you have to use webhook within the stripe i will uh, let you know where you have to apply the webhook okay at the end of this video okay let's uh, 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 let's try the uh, um, payment with plaid now okay uh, uh, okay so this is our basic form okay uh, using plaid okay so that we can verify bank account uh, within seconds okay because as you saw uh, earlier that uh, to verify bank account uh, uh, the two two micro accounts needs to be verified right now you can see this is using plaid okay on click on verify account the Pla using plaid api okay something this form will be open and you can see the many banks you can search bank from here as well okay and click on verify like this i'm using this and for sandbox you can use the username user underscore good and the password will be pass p a w -S, s underscore good for sandbox okay and you have to wait until it will process and you can see there is that much amount using sandbox in checking and in saving and we will choose saving and click on this and i will show you uh, right here what will happen actually my account is not uh, connected with stripe okay i will show you this this is plaid you can see we have to connect our stripe from here connect with stripe okay it's off it has to be on okay you need to have live details on click on stripe you will when you will click on uh, stripe like that you will be re redirected to stripe 
account and you have to fill uh, your bank account details okay live bank account details so uh, I'm not a US citizen so I cannot uh, give my live account details so right and I cannot use my clients API so this is it so let's get back here I will show you it will throw one error that is about payment okay I will uh, show you entire process uh, uh, via code as well okay uh, let me show you that uh, how it process and how it works using plaid in backend okay I'm going to fill username and password again and I have sorry I have forgot okay so let's submit and like that saving and you will see I'm using Ajax okay for verifying account and for transaction or creating a client ID okay like this and see ACH Ajax and the response will be you have to wait for response and see this okay so this is the fatal error it's about no such token this so basically token has been created through this if you will see I have uh, printed this on console within JS this a uh, the plaid is generating this okay public token and account id okay but the thing is the plaid is not connected with stripe that's why stripe is throwing error about what about that token uh, that in uh, no such token okay so this token has not been saved in stripe due to this reason okay but when you will connect this then you will connect it with stripe it will not throw error and it will uh, also uh, send you details about routing number account number and uh, amount to pay oh sorry it's 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 static it's static you can you have to fill that amount to pay so name routing number and account number okay it will give you uh, the four digit last four digits of account number okay it will give you all those details you can find more details I will show you in code as well so okay so right here uh, this is a ACH Ajax so this is the config file where all these secret keys and uh, these plaid secret plaid client and everything will be stored I have added that on my uh, um, github I will send you link you can add within the config okay these uh, variables you can add within the config like this okay you can add your client client, client id secret uh, stripe secret stripe publication key right so let's get started within the code you can see uh, to get client to get client it's you know uh, like this and where we, uh, it is causing error is here on creating charge i'm using uh, see here on creating customer okay on creating customer this bank account is uh, you know it, it it is not verified by stripe due to uh, the uh, situation i mentioned uh, mentioned you earlier right so you can ignore this and okay so this is live bank accounts that you have to you know fill and connect it with Plaid. okay after that this error will not be thrown okay and now I will uh, tell you uh, step by step okay how you can uh, use um, without plaid and with plaid see this is without, without plaid coding okay and you can uh, customize this and you can use uh, it uh, uh, you know any way you want it to be right so uh, let me show you two things that see right here okay after verifying amount after verify account what i am doing i am creating a customer right see uh, stripe customer retrieve this is customer id right here uh, right we have verify oh, okay so to verify a bank account we have verified it without verifying we cannot create charge right and without verifying customer will not be created it will throw error 
while uh, making charge okay so it is very simple right uh, on the other hand using um, uh, ACH one second let me open the file with glad okay you can see with glad what's there um, right here you can see the account holder name okay so it is not retrieving the these details okay account holder name and if you see ACH Ajax what I'm doing is like see from here I'm receiving all details from here see um, account holder name last four digits routing number bank status etc etc okay so you can uh, fetch more details okay you can simply print this sp this thing okay and you can fetch whatever detail you want and i am uh, uh, okay from uh, i am sending this back by encoding json right after that uh, within the plaid uh, within the plaid yeah you can you can save the client id within the session or within the for, uh, hidden form field and click on pay okay like here like here on click on pay you can again fire an ajax okay you can see my alert after verifying bank account same client id in session or hidden field which is not secured and send via ajax from here and create charge okay you can simply you will simply get the client id and you can simply create client id using this okay and you can create charge so thank you so much i'm giving you link of my github account so that you can uh, get the coding get the code and you can utilize uh, that in your uh, project and in you can test it on local thank you so much okay i forgot about to tell you about webhooks uh, so you can add webhook like this one second i'm going to pause uh, like this okay you no need to add quotes right so you can add on click on add point you can click on a webhook like this and you can add events from here uh, that is charge right charge pending charge succeeded there will be see there will be mm, uh, two type of charge when you will uh, you know uh, do charge using ajax first time it will give you uh, this uh, status charge pending okay you can add a webhook here action is equal to pending okay on this it will send you data on port uh, using json okay in post array you can fetch the data uh, on post or request okay uh, all the data they send using uh, this webhook uh, in json format okay so you can use this charge success okay event and you can use your site.com webhook.php something like that and where you can you know within the action you can fetch the data of this event okay charge right here is the event and you can click on add endpoint like this and your webhook will be added uh, like this you can see webhook details right so uh, by simple using uh, this methodology you can add webhook and receive the status on click on uh, you know when you receive this uh, action success and receive the um, all the details of uh, uh, invoice id everything you will get uh, with uh, within the this you know uh, webhook and you can process uh, your database and you can modify your database accordingly. okay thank you so much guys Thank you and do subscribe my uh, channel. Okay, thanks.